So this is a disciple of the Buddha. He's in charge of the, well, the gates of hell, and uh, he gets to choose which way you're going to go. He has these two assistants that look up your deeds, how many good deeds have you done as opposed to your bad deeds, and uh, sitting next to a pallet of skulls is not too promising. And uh, here these two poor folks are waiting for their judgment. Doesn't look good for them because they're chained up to this guy. According to the, the uh, descriptions around here, they're the hell keepers. That's a hell of a job. So they're being judged. And according to the inscription here, if, uh, if they're judged to have been good, they get to go to the heaven, is the way that it's described. Those who did not do good go to the hell, which is where we are now. Ones who make merit go to heaven, ones who do bad go to the hell, plunging themselves into the hot copper pans and being stabbed by the hell keepers with spears every day. This guy is probably new to the group. Looks like he's being tossed in. And there's the everyday hell keeper spear guy. These days of high unemployment, I guess it's it, it's a job. Now, what about these folks with the hanging tongues and their ribs sticking out? Gonna have to go find out what they're all about. <laughs> Ones who plunge themselves into the causes of the misfortunes. The connoisseurs of women. Uh-oh, I might be in trouble. The habitual drinkers. Well, I got a pass on that one. The habitual gamblers. Eh, a little bit. Nitnoy. The fellowship with the knaves. And behaving against the virtue or the moral principles will be the departed spirits after their death and receive the bad results of action as shown in this picture. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't look like fun. There's this circle of knaves around them here. They get changed into different animals. Depending upon their misdeeds. Ones, yeah, this one is ones who abandon the duties because of gambling are punished in hell. They are named as the spirit of the horses. Huh. Oh, shellfish. Let's see, uh, how do you become a shell shellfish? This is a, a crab or a lobster or I guess a shrimp. The ones that get involved with the habit performing drugs and the intoxicants punished in hell. They are named as the crustaceans. There's a bird eating this guy's innards. That can't be good. Now here, this hell keeper is just carving this guy up. This is a disagreeable sight. Yeah, these hell keeper guys are, uh, are badasses. He's choking and bashing, stabbing. This poor bastard is just throwing them in half. There's avarice. You get to be a beggar in hell if you're uh, greedy in life. I don't even know the Buddhist had a hell, but it's a uh, it's it, it's certainly. Uh, dynamic. After this trip, I'm heading to Pattaya. I've been invited to a party uh, that's going to take place in two days in Pattaya. And I think I should take a snapshot of this and bring it with me and show the girls in Pattaya uh, that they might want to mend their ways. Pattaya, for those of you who may not know, is uh, famous for its gigantic red light district 
district. It's like the whole town. I've been to Pattaya three times on a convention. It's an annual convention that I go to. There, are, it, It's also a beach resort and regular Thai people go there too. I shouldn't turn it into a, a city that does nothing but, uh, but uh, sexual stuff. But there's plenty of that that goes on there. It's well known for that. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that anyway. You know, and given the ease with with which one can find sex for hire in Thailand, you wouldn't expect such a grim reprisal. Damn. But there you go, just in case you didn't think Thai Buddhism, but Thai Buddhism had a hell.